Hello everyone. In today's video, I'll be putting this powerful Ichimoku trading strategy to the test. We'll be coding the entire strategy in Python, optimizing it with FreckTrade, and running back tests to assess its performance. So, let's get started. To begin, let's quickly go over the key indicator we'll be using in this strategy. Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, often just called Ichimoku, is a comprehensive technical indicator that helps traders identify trends, momentum, and support resistance levels all in one glance. Unlike simple moving averages, Ichimoku provides a full picture of the market by combining multiple components. The Ichimoku system consists of five key components, each serving a unique purpose. One, Tenkan Sen, conversion line. The Tenkan Sen is calculated as the average of the highest high and lowest low over the past nine periods. It reacts quickly to price changes and serves as a short-term trend indicator. If the Tenkan Sen is sloping upwards, it suggests bullish momentum. If it's sloping downwards, it indicates bearish momentum. Second, Kijun Sen, baseline. The Kijun Sen is calculated as the average of the highest high and lowest low over the past 26 periods. It's a slower moving line that represents the medium term trend. If the price is above the Kijun Sen, the market is in an uptrend. If the price is below it, the market is in a downtrend. The Kijun Sen can also act as a support or resistance level. 3. Chiku Span Lagging Span The Chiku Span is the current closing price plotted 26 periods back on the chart. It helps traders confirm trends by comparing past price action to the present. If the Chico span is above past price levels, it confirms a bullish trend. If it's below past price levels, it signals a bearish trend. 4. Senko Span A, Leading Span A. This is calculated as the average of the Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen, plotted 26 periods into the future. It forms one of the boundaries of the Ichimoku cloud and helps define potential support and resistance levels. 5. Senku Span B, Leading Span B. This is calculated as the average of the highest high and lowest low over the past 52 periods, then plotted 26 periods forward. It moves slower than Senko Span A and forms the other boundary of the Ichimoku cloud. The space between Senko Span A and Senku Span B forms the cloud, which plays a crucial role in identifying market trends. All right, now that we understand each component of the Ichimoku system, let's dive into how we can actually use it to analyze trends and generate trading signals for our trading strategy. To enter a long trade, we follow these three key conditions. One, conversion line crosses above the baseline. This crossover signals a potential bullish move, indicating that momentum is shifting in favor of buyers. Two, prices above the cloud. This confirms that the market is in an overall uptrend, increasing the probability of a successful long trade. Third, conversion line and baseline must be either sloping upwards or flat. This is a key detail, especially in algorithmic trading. We don't just look at the crossover. We also ensure that the conversion line and baseline are angled upward or moving sideways. This adds an extra layer of confirmation that the trend is truly strong and reduces false signals. Once all three conditions are met, we enter the long trade on the next candle. Now the exit strategy is absolutely critical. It can make a huge difference in the overall profitability of the strategy. If we simply exit when price drops below the baseline, we'll get stopped out too frequently because the baseline often acts as a natural support level. Instead, here's the optimized approach. We only exit when price falls below the baseline by two ATR average true range values. This ensures we don't get shaken out too early and allows the trade to ride the trend for a longer time. You can see in this example, the trade continues to move higher and higher. And instead of getting stopped out prematurely, we hold the position until the price finally drops below the baseline by two ATR values, locking in a much larger profit. In the Freck Trade backtest chart, you can see where we enter the long position and where we exit. Entry happens here, Right when the signals align, the price trends upward, allowing us to capture a strong move without getting stopped out too early. Exit happens here, 
when the price finally drops below the baseline by two ATR values, securing a much larger profit. Now, let's look at how we take a short trade using this strategy. We enter a short position when, one, conversion line crosses below the baseline, signals a bearish shift in momentum. Two, prices below the cloud, confirms a downtrend. Three, conversion line and baseline are sloping downward or flat. Once all conditions are met, we enter a short trade on the next candle. For exiting the trade, instead of exiting as soon as price moves above the baseline, we only exit when price moves above the baseline by two ATR values. Now that we've covered the strategy, let's dive into optimizing it for maximum performance. Using FreckTrade, a free open source crypto trading bot built with Python. If you're interested in learning FreckTrade, check the link in the description for complete FreckTrade course. Here's the plan. We'll be testing on the four hour time frame. We're splitting the data into two parts. In sample data, 16 months. We'll use this to fine tune our strategy's parameters. Out of sample data, eight months. This is for testing our optimized strategy on unseen data to check how robust it is. We'll focus on optimizing key parameters like conversion line periods and base line periods. Conversion cross rolling window, which tests how far back the conversion line and baseline cross remains valid. For the exit strategy, we'll optimize ATR multiplier. We'll use FreckTrade's HyperOp to find the best parameter combination, aiming for maximum profit with minimal drawdown. Once we're done optimizing, let's jump into the backtest results to see how well our strategy performs. All right, let's dive into the backtesting results for our strategy. We ran this on AVAX, Perpetual Futures, using a four-hour time frame over the past two years, and the results are pretty impressive. First, let's talk about performance. The total profit came in at 2,944%. The win rate was 51%, which means just over half of our trades were winners. For long positions, we saw a massive 2,023% return, and for short positions, we gained 921%. To put things into perspective, the overall market only moved 187% during this period. And despite the high returns, our maximum drawdown was kept at 26%, which is solid risk management. Now, let's take a look at the visual summary. You can see from the trade log that the strategy captured some really big moves, while the losing trades stayed small. And here's the cumulative profit graph. It's a beautiful uptrend, meaning the strategy consistently made money over time. We optimized everything using 16 months of in-sample data, and then tested it on eight months of out-of-sample data to make sure it performs well in real-world conditions. If you want to download the FreckTrade strategy file and explore it yourself, check out the link in the description below. I've also created a pair-optimized version, which lets you trade multiple pairs in one setup, each with its own fine-tuned parameters for better performance. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.